Hey Spikers RC fans, it's Chris here with a little update on the collection as of January 2015. I know I haven't put up a new video in a while, but I've been really, really busy. I finally have a little bit of time and a little bit of time to actually do a couple new videos, so I'm going to do that here pretty quick. But I figured, I'd, like I say, I'll do the collection update. It's been a busy little while. I've actually brought in some new new blood, as I guess you could call it. I'm now up to, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. At, at least 13 different RC vehicles again. Um, but I'll just do a quick cap for you here of what there is. Um, as you can see down there, it's in pieces right now because I really suck at flying fixed wing aircraft. But it's a Super Cub. Um, I've... I've demolished it. I ripped the whole front motor mount off in a crash, and well, it'll it'll probably fly again one day. I just gotta get the uh, the resolve to go and fix it. Uh, the old F1 tunnel uh, that is pretty much just a hull now, and I'm offering that to people if uh, anybody wants to go ahead and and rebuild this and get it running right. It's still a great hull. Uh, I just I don't have the time for it, unfortunately, and it's not quite in the direction I want to head, so if anybody wants it, give me a shout. The old barbed wire, this thing is still a lot of fun. I finally got new props for it, had to cust or had to order them in straight from uh, uh, Venom? No, Atomic. And uh, had to order them right from there, and this boat is so popular, they were so back-ordered, it took way longer than it should have to get them, but my local hobby store here in Calgary managed to get them for me. Uh, one of the new additions um, is it looks like a Traxxas Rustler knockoff. I've never actually heard of these guys before. It's Duratrax. It's an old brushed Rustler for a lack of a better term. It, it looks like it shares a lot of the same parts. doesn't quite, but yeah, uh, again, this one I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. It's probably going to get donated to somebody or something along those lines. Uh, you'll probably remember the Exoterra buggy. It still needs to be repaired. I'm missing a dog bone from right there and so on. But it's still one of my favorite rigs minus trying to get batteries in and out of it. Still love it. Uh, beside it is still my old faithful. It's a Traxxas Slash. It's just got a new body on it. Uh, it's a Volkswagen Beetle body. Should be fun to play with. And if you'll notice on the hood, there is a little tiny micro quadcopter thing. Um, it's made by Estes. I can't remember the actual um, name of it, but it's a fun little quadcopter. Man, is it ever stable. And apparently I'm missing a prop off. It'll have to put a new one on there. It came with spares anyway, so not a big deal. Uh, beside that is another new addition. It is a Lozy Mini 8T. It's the Truggy version. Um, it's still brand new. I've just taken it out of the box. I haven't even put a battery in it yet to to uh, drive it around. But from the research I've done on them, these things are an absolute blast and a beast to drive. So I can't wait to do it. Uh, my old wrestler. I still like it. I've put some sand tires and snow tires, whatever you want to call it, on the back. But now my problem is, is that we've had too much snow and I, it's having a hard time getting around in the snow. But when I have a feeling when the snow melts a little bit or we get some compaction, this thing is going to be a hoot. Next to that, my big ol' 1 8th E Revo. I'm still looking for a 1 8 system, brushless system, to put in this. I think I'm probably just going to order the one from Tower Hobbies and I'll do a build video on that soon. My old SCX-10. You guys know and love that one still. So do I. And a new addition is a Summit. I have some rebuilding to do on it. I've already taken it apart a little bit in preparation for my next video. Stay tuned for that. And the last one, but not the least, and probably one of the, my favorites still, is my DJI Phantom. I love this thing to pieces. Anyway, that is my collection, and I hope you enjoy. We'll talk to you later.